so we're live. Currently just uh, on one of my old accounts. Um, just looking at some things. Just uh, gonna do some quick cleaning up on my smaller alt accounts and then uh, I'll be moving from account to account. Um, got a couple friends accounts that I'm gonna be managing uh, because they are currently sick. So I'm helping them out. Um, and then uh, I'll be jumping over to the big account um, afterwards. Uh, and uh, you guys can ask any questions uh, about the game. Um, any any like strategies or anything that you want, you know, clarified or uh, tips, hints, things like that, um, and I can help you guys out. Uh, I am the uh, one of the editors for the game, um, uh, the game's Wikipedia. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do some cleanup on some of these uh, smaller alt accounts that I've got. Uh, currently in the works on Kingdom 1, uh, so just bear with me. Uh, I am watching the chat. Sorry if I don't talk much, I'm just focusing, uh, getting through these really quickly. Um, like I said, uh, these are just my smaller alt accounts that I'm currently jumping around through, uh, cleaning up. Hopefully KVK goes pretty well. I know uh, IGG has added uh, resource gathering and uh, killing off uh, turf traps to uh, the points that can be gained, uh, which is really nice. Just to show you what I'm talking about. If we go, oh, no, wrong one. Uh, if we go here, you can see that traps uh, are the equivalent of killing troops, which is really nice. Um, that was not uh, in there originally. Uh, I can't remember if it was in there for Kingdom Clash or not. I don't think it was for traps. I know resource gathering was, um, and that's always, it's always really good points uh, to do. Um, it's a little different now, um, as before it was based on the level of the tile, uh, now it's just based on just solely uh, every 1,000, uh, which is insane, the amount of points that you can get uh, from that uh, if you're gathering uh, quite well. Um, and then, you know, your typical monster hunter and occupying the forts and bases. Uh, obviously, uh, occupying the wonders is where you get most of the points. Uh, if you don't like to fight, or anything like that. Let's see, uh, what was I doing on this old? I think I was setting up child flight. Yes, I was. Let's go ahead and sweep for metals. That is one tip that I would like to give people: is uh, sweep for metals. 
Um, as you can see, this is just my old account. I've got them all green, except for these two paid heroes, uh, Big Guy and Barbarian. They're staying at grave because that's all I'm willing to spend on the ult. Uh, did it a while back, way when I first made the ult, uh, just to help give it a little bit of a boost in the kingdom that it was in at the start. Um, and that was before uh, migration was around, um, so I couldn't actually migrate it and help it out with my other accounts, uh, whereas now I can. Um, yeah, all my uh, heroes in this alt, which is only 14 million, they're all green. Um, a 55 rank, uh, is that 6? Yeah, 6 out of 8, which isn't terrible. Um, but I'm going to start getting them all. All the blue. Uh, I'm gonna focus on uh, Colosseum heroes uh, first, like uh, Child of Light, uh, Trickster, Incinerator, uh, Prima Donna, Black Crow, um, Demon Slayer, uh, Tracker, and probably Soul Forger and Death Knight until I can get Rose Knight, which I will probably do once I get um, a couple of the better heroes, uh, like Child of Light, Incinerator, Black Crow, possibly Trickster and Prima Donna, uh, Blue, and then I'll go ahead and get uh, Rose Knight done, and uh, put that up to Blue, and probably push have that one be one of the, the main ones that I start pushing. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Ah, I was going to push some monster hunt. So let's see. I want to find a three. Got Gargantua. Probably do a Gargantua. Let's see. Gargantua is a line up. Gotta think. Um. Gargantua lineup. Sorry, just looking at my notes for the monsters because I have separate notes um, for the lineups that I typically use because I cannot remember them all. Okay, let's see. Demon Slayer. Actually, let's go Shade. I do not have Shade yet. No, I don't have Shade yet on this one. Um, so Trickster, Tracker, Black Crow. Probably Incinerator. Or sorry, not Incinerator. Um, Demon Slayer. And probably Death Archer is probably what I'm going to have to go with. Or no. Scarlet Bolt. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I'm in uh, Kingdom 1. Right there, Kingdom 1. Uh, I have a couple accounts here that I'm managing. Uh, obviously, I have this one, Sasha K. I'm helping out a friend with uh, theirs, uh, uh, Ine Azame, uh, Lily Petal, Lily Heart, and uh, she's asked me to jump onto Let's Rock as well. Just to help her out, uh, she's currently sick. I'm also sick, so that's also fun. Uh, I think she's got a lot worse than what I've got. Um, .51. This account doesn't have a great monster hunt, so damage isn't the key, it's just doing it. Getting a little bit of loot. There we go. So that's done. Let's go ahead and speed this up. For 
that construction to finish. Go ahead and get this building started. Traps aren't really going to help me too much on this alt because I'm not uh, going to be getting attacked or anything, so nothing to really worry about there. Uh, this, this account's pretty much permanently shielded uh, until I get it bigger. Um, like I said, this is just a small little alt account. It's only 14 million, I mean. It's kind of whatever. Um, anyway, give me one second and I'm going to switch to one of my other ults and take care of it. Yeah, I am watching the chat, so if you guys got questions or anything about the game, please uh, feel free to ask. I can answer pretty much any question. Um, if you want, uh, you know, help with a monster, uh, you know, what heroes you should use, Coliseum help, things like that, uh, I can help you out uh, to the best of my ability. go, just another one of my alt accounts, just cleaning up on it real quick for the day. I usually don't play too much on the alt accounts that much. Um, they're just kind of here. Uh, I'm growing them up so that they can become hybrid farms for resources. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically I'm going to, uh, once they're kind of up a little higher, uh, probably at uh, Castle 24, which they're almost to. Uh, I'm going to start switching the resource buildings to be uh, one type of resource, or two of them. Um, I'll probably make, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, I'll probably change all of these to, um, like say, uh, the ore mines and uh, lumber mills to, to kind of a uh, a hybrid farm for those two resources, or I'll just change to one or the other. I'll probably just do all ore mine, uh, just because ore is pretty key in what I need at the moment, as well as stone uh, on the other accounts that I've got. Uh, th that way I can uh, just, once that's all set up, I'll have this sitting unshielded, I'll take away all the troops that I've got on it, because there's not really any point for me to have troops on here anymore on these alts, um, and I'll just hit it for resources when I need, uh, but currently I'm just kind of, uh, doing a little bit of housekeeping with what it's got, uh, for now, just kind of messing around with it. Oop. Gifts. Currently in a alt guild, uh, so gift level isn't very high, it's just kind of a, a whatever. We just put alt accounts and shit in here. 
just the uh, the trash accounts of a cut. Uh, I don't know if this has enough resources for wall, does it? It might. Go. Don't know if I've got enough wood. Barely. Ship, can you save me? Yes, you can. All right, so let's see. Just a quick trade with the cargo ship. Uh, made it so that this is going to be possible. Sweep for metals on this one too. This one's almost got blue. Go for the gargantua again. Uh, same team as I had before. Somebody smoked th these people here. That's a little interesting. Wonder who did that. Oh well. Somebody just messing around. Ah, got some gems there, it's really nice. Hits out. That's going to be it for this alt. I'm going to switch accounts again. Sorry about switching accounts so much. I've got a lot of accounts that I'm managing right now. Um, so just bear with me. Friends accounts uh, that I'm currently managing because they are 
basically bedridden, sick. They've got some kind of flu or something. And I've got a cold, which is, if you notice that I sound kind of weird, that's probably why. So let's see. I have notes pulled up on what they want me to do. But I'll just go ahead and do some housekeeping on their uh, daily stuff. Let's see their Coliseum. I got a. May not have. I guess they don't have Resnite. Fair enough. Alright, I just read through, quickly read through those. Uh, looks like they are acting as a shield for KVK, so looks like everybody's uh, sent reinforcements and stuff to this account. I was getting ready to say why there wasn't a million there. Uh, it's because it's not at 25. Looks like this account uh, only recently hit 25, so looks like they're working on workshop. That's right, don't train troops on this one. This is a uh, resource alt of one of the one of my friends, so uh, actually this will be a perfect example to show you what a hyper farm looks like. Um, because that's what this is set up to be for food. Yeah, for food, uh, as you can see, all food basically, except for a couple at the end and at the beginning, just to get things uh, up to par and whatnot. Oh man, not having VIP 12 is terrible. Having to go through, click on every individual gift. Oh, somebody about a hundred. Very nice. Couple gold gifts in there. It wasn't too bad. Almost ready for blue. And metal, yep. Push that to blue. And then next we'll do black crow. I don't know if that's what they want, but I know black crow is good, so they'll be working on it eventually anyway, but As you can see, this is just another alt, it's only at 18.4. It was probably higher at some point. Its troop count's pretty low, but I think because it's a food alt, they probably, oh yes, yeah, so they probably went over, so they probably uh, stopped making troops. Let's see, gold. Let's trade up for more lumber. Uh, we're capped out on gold, so we'll go ahead and grab that. I won't use any other speed ups. Monster hunt. Uh, let's find a th three. Let's see. Where's a three? Where's a three? Terra thorn would be good. Queen bee. That's fine. Oh, 
let's see. Queen B. Queen B was physical attacks, so we'll go ahead and do Trickster Tracker, Death Archer, Black Crow, Demon Slayer. Go. And that is a perfect uh, raw damage team for any of the monsters that require physical damage. And that was a completely free to play setup as well, so. There you go. Uh, oh. Resource bank. Send half. And keep going with production. We can grab that gold tile as well while we're at it. Oh, five. Five percent. It's not great. Not terrible. Right, I believe that's it for this one. I'm missing something. Oh, okay. Switching again. This friend of mine has one too many accounts. <laughs> but it helps. Uh, they're very, very helpful to have alts. Um, they help with resources. Uh, if you are pay to play, uh, you can buy a $100 pack, like the Champions Gear uh, packs, and uh, you can get the gifting ability, which is super helpful when you have multiple accounts that can do that. Uh, you can basically send hundreds of thousands of gems to yourself. Uh, and speed ups and various other things, um, which is really really nice. Um, I know some people do it, some don't, because obviously it, it's expensive, hundred dollars uh, to do. All right. Heal those, probably from a dark nest. Yep, so I failed a dark nest. Alright. It's a pretty decent setup for uh, Coliseum at the moment. Not great, but it's decent. Let's do so many admin quests. Tedious, but they give uh, decent XP when you're not at 60, and uh, Resources aren't terrible. They help a little. Hundred gifts grabbed. Uh, cover ship deals. Eh. Oh, wouldn't be terrible to get. Don't need gold for research at the moment. Might top off this. I'm gonna finish recruitment and 
train some more. Just a uh, quick, uh, not really a tip, but a bit of information uh, to take a hero straight from uh, common all the way to legendary is 330 medals. You get roughly um, three to four medals uh, every um, 120 uh, stamina. Um, so, just to give you an idea of how much stamina it takes a lot <laughs> but it's very very doable uh, as you can see stamina you you get 120 stamina every 12 hours basically um, so that's 240 stamina uh, without using the boosts the brave hearts and other various items that you can get uh, that can give you stamina so that's basically eight medals a day at the most that you'll get just from logging in twice a day. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Especially if you just focus down one hero at a time, uh, you can get quite a ways through. Um, obviously it looks like uh, she was focusing on more Colosseum builds uh, than anything. Uh, which is which is a pretty good idea. Um, Coliseum is a great way for free gems. So, in fact, let's just mess around with the Coliseum at the moment. Let's see. Uh, all right, Coliseum. Hmm. Do Resonite. That. That should win. Might not though. Uh, the difference in grade is. Mm, it helps a little. Yeah. Right. I won't see that same person again either, I don't think. Oh yeah, no, I did. Okay. Let's see. So. That right there is probably shutting us down. Throw in a heal. That might help a bit more. Yep, there we go. It's all about the right setup. <laughs> uh, that's a tank build. I probably shouldn't have. Uh... Sent the healer in. Oh, well, whatever. Worked anyway. <laughs> Having three tanks in the Coliseum, not always the best move. Possibly win this one. Probably won't, though, because, again, it can, uh, it can mean a lot. Nope, pulled up. It must be poorly geared then. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Won't need the healer for this one, I don't believe. Black Crow should be able to handle. Their demon. Ooh, no. Okay. I'm gonna watch the replay on that one. A little curious how that lost exactly. Let's go ahead and double check and see what happened there.
Uh, didn't stun their healer, that's why. Yep. Fair enough. Missed the stun. It happens. This account's a little bit more sizable. It's, uh, looks like it's, uh, yeah, 30.9 30 million. Not too bad. Um, it's a good chunk of time put in. Let's go ahead and do Gantua. Let's see. Uh, what was my setup? It was uh, demon. Shade. And uh, one second, just check my notes again. Uh, Rose, Rose Knight. So, again, Rose Knight, Shade, Trickster, yep, that should do. Again, if you have questions uh, on the game, I am watching the chat. Uh, feel free to ask anything that you want uh, while I'm just taking care of some uh, minor accounts. Um, just doing some daily things on them. Uh, again, uh, quite a few of these accounts aren't mine. They are a friend of mine who is currently bedridden sick, so I'm just helping them out, lending a hand. Um, what's the damage we did on that? 7.3, that's really low. Oh no, never mind. That was actually pretty good. Forgot, level 3. <laughs> Not used to doing low damage on level 3s. Sources for when I do jump over. I believe that's everything. Hey, Xander. Uh, tricks for heroes. Are you meaning hero stages like these? Um, or counters in the Colosseum? I can help either way, but I just want to know uh, what specifically you're asking so then I can give you the correct answer. Again, notice uh, the chat is slightly delayed, so just be aware.
P for Kev. Oh, okay, yeah, the grade. Uh, grade of heroes. Um, basically, uh, I was touching upon this a little earlier, actually. Um, so, with medals, uh, from common to legendary is 330 medals, right? Basically, you get about uh, you get about roughly four four medals, th three to four medals uh, every 120 stamina, which right here uh, you can get about 240 stamina a day or within 24 hours, uh, as it takes you know 12 hours to recharge 120. Um, and what you do is you s sweep four medals on one hero at a time. You focus down a hero, uh, what you want. Um, some people do uh, Colosseum builds, um, for instance, on this account, uh, as you can see, this these heroes right here are all blue and one gold. Uh, this is off, this is a, a buy to play hero. So, one second. Um, so, basically what you want to do is sweep for medals every chance that you can on one hero, and that's the quickest way to do it, other than, uh, obviously spending money to get brave hearts, and just going through, getting, you know, using your brave heart uses, uh, which is dictated by your VIP level, um. And that'll be the, the quickest way to get it up. That's really the only way to get it up, but the quickest way is to make sure that you use your uh, 120 stamina uh, every 12 hours. Um, you can obviously use it in between that time uh, as you get on uh, throughout the day or what have you, but making sure that you use 240 stamina every day uh, is guaranteeing that you're uh, getting there the fastest without using brave hearts or spinning gems to use uh, brave hearts Switching accounts real quick. Bear with me. Six nine elite. That would be uh, Rose Knight, um, Child of Light, Incinerator, Black Crow, Prima Donna. Um, all blue should be able to do that. All green with at rank seven. Should also be able to do that quite well. Again, that's Rose Knight, Child of Light, um, Prima Donna, Black Crow, Cinerator. Um, you can also uh, swap out Black Crow for uh, Tracker. Uh, it just depends on what you've got. But those that's the build that I would recommend. Yeah, sure, I can write it in chat.
Yep, there you go. Like I said, um, you can switch out uh, Tracker and Black Crow. They both work. Just depends on what your taste is. Um, but they're both good. Alright, looking at a uh, we're on a forty seven point six million. If you don't have Rose Knight yet, um then just use Child of Light and use Prima Donna Incinerator, Rose Knight, Black Crow, and uh you could use um uh, Sea Squire or Tracker. Um and that should be good enough. Uh, you would only use C Squire if you need the extra health, um, but I don't think you will for 6-9. Um, I would say just stick with um, Tracker um, instead of Rose Knight. And just make sure that you're at uh, rank you know, 6 or 7. Uh, having your heroes at rank 7 is really helpful. Uh, because they get their last skill, so I always recommend people push to rank 7 uh, with heroes that they can. Um, obviously not all can go to rank 7 uh, right off the bat, um, or not right off the bat, but quickly because of uh, hero stage uh, limitations. So this is a bank account, as you can see, uh, all the resources. Um, Yes, I did. I know. Uh, six nine. Yep. That's why I recommended Black Crow, uh, because Black Crow's um, ultimate or ability, whatever star power skill, <laughs> um, it's ultimate is what it's called. But uh, ultimate um, is that kind of a uh, circle area of effect. Uh, damage skill, uh, kind of like an arrow rain, is really good. Um, but Tracker also has a really good ability that can help kill the uh, the main child of light on that on the end of that stage. Um, basically, you just want to make sure that you're uh, not getting swarmed. Play that stage for you, sure. Oops. Six nine elite. So there you go. See, there's the setup that I was telling you, right there. That's what I used, uh, or not I used, but that's what my friend used. Uh, it's basically the same. Um, all they did is uh, they probably didn't have Rose Knight at the time, like you. So they uh, used uh, Child of Light, Incinerator, Tracker, uh, Prima Donna, Black Crow. Um, however, now you could um, substitute Child of Light for Rose Knight, and that would work. But just for uh, showing you that uh, you don't need uh, Rose Knight to do it. Uh, obviously, just keep in mind that these are level 59 blues at ranks uh, 8, so. Basically, these little mages here are the uh, bigger damage dealers. So you're gonna make sure that you kill them with Tracker or Black Crow. Go ahead and do 
heal. There's a mage in the very, very far back uh, that you need to make sure you kill because it does a lot of damage uh, on the second part of the stage. It's another reason why Tracker is really good for that single target uber damage. Um, Alright, here we go. Let everybody do their skills. So on the third set of skills, um, when the incinerator does the uh, like little fire uh, line of fire, um, that that's when you should start using the ultimates uh, because that means that all of your heroes have basically cycled through their skills once which makes it so that they uh, use their uh, uh, rank 7 ability which is really really good uh, that's what I always try to do so let's go ahead and do this stun it hit the main one with tracker Get both of those caught with Black Crow. Send both of those. Main one's down. Now it's basically just cleaning up all the uh, the secondaries. And there you go. Six nine elite done. So hopefully that helped uh, show you exactly what I was talking about. Uh, it looks like she hasn't actually pushed much farther. Uh, she mainly just got so that she could do Rose Knight elites. Six twelve is actually the same setup, uh, believe it or not. I think the only difference is you might also use C Squire, um, but it's actually the same setup. Uh, you just want to make sure that your heroes are again, like I said, uh, probably around blue grade. Um, you could probably do it with green, but. Blue grade's probably the best, which is, uh, uh, what is that? That's, I can't think. Um, brain fart. Can't think of what it's called at the moment. Um, but there's common, uncommon, and then, uh, rare, I think is what it was. Yeah, rare. Uh, the rare grade. Whew. Yep, the only thing that you want to focus on, the, the one thing about doing the Rose Knight stage on Elite um, is when you get to the final part of the stage you want to make sure that you keep Rose Knight stunned when she's about to use her heal, because Rose Knight has a heal for her team, okay? Um, I believe it's that one. Yes, uh, prayer. So when, uh, basically, you'll see, she'll she'll turn around, look at whoever's got, uh, you know, lost health on the team. Usually it's the two, I think there's two archers, or two mages at the very end of the stage. I can't remember uh, off the top of my head. Uh, 56. You could probably do 
six nine six nine with level fifty six. Um, maybe you might be able to do uh, six twelve with at level fifty six as long as you've got your uh, heroes geared. Um, maybe fifty seven uh, if you can't. Uh, let me just check again what the level is for the elite stage. I can't remember. So they're at 57. So yeah, you could probably do it at 56. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be any problem. So yeah, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, you want to make sure that you stun Rose Knight um, with Incinerator or Child of Light uh, when she's about to do the heal. So keep her from healing the uh, rear uh, units and use uh, Black Crow to kill off those rear units um, the best that you can. In fact, I'll just go ahead and, go ahead and do a run through and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Obviously it'll be a little easier because I'm level, uh, these are level 59 all uh, rank 8, so. Let's stun those two mages. Get the damage off me. Heal. Single burst damage. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, keep asking questions if you got them. Like, uh, like I said, I mean, I can answer pretty much anything, so... You got a question, I got an answer, pretty much. Didn't mean to use that incinerator ability. Um, I'll pause it here real quick, but... See these two heroes in the back are the uh, ones that I'm talking about. Uh, they do a lot of damage to you. Um, if they are kept alive. Uh, there will be a tank unit that's right here underneath all these damage markers that will uh, prevent your heroes from basically taking out Rose Knight, uh, but it won't be a problem for mine because mine, like I said, are all rank 8 and level 59, so it's a little easier. But we'll go ahead and plop down Black Crow's ability here, get that damage out, Kill the one mage. Stun black, uh, stun Rose Knight. Center again. Just getting ready to do the heal, so I took out the unit. And this will be GG. I don't know if that was too fast, but basically, uh, when she started to turn, that's when she was going to do the heal on the archer in the, in the uh, rear position. So I used Tracker to kill the archer before she could do the heal, uh, because I had already stunned her, uh, but she had turned to do another heal. So it's basically just learning the uh, the telegraphs of the abilities that some of the heroes do, so that you know. Uh, how to react uh, accordingly with your ultimate abilities uh, on your lineups. It's not that big of a deal for um, chapter 6, but chapters uh, 7 and 8, especially chapter 8, uh, you really have to kind of pay attention to some of that stuff because um, the hero or the, uh, the mobs, the monsters, and whatnot in chapter 8. Uh, will be higher level than you. And will be uh, a little bit tougher, so.
Go ahead and sweep for metals for Rose Knight. Gantua, so let's see. Black Crow, Rise Knight. Go. Shade. Um. boxes yeah sure uh, let me know how it goes Alright, gonna swap accounts again, uh, just bear with me. Alright, we're on another alt. Just taking care of some things. Probably do a couple Colosseum battles in this one. Maybe. Can't remember if I used up its chances or not. Oop, okay. Nope, don't want to hit a guild, mate. Easy wins. Uh, it's low in the Coliseum here. Just migrated, so. So what are you guys uh, going to do for KVK? What kingdoms are you guys from? Where are you guys going? I promise not to hunt you down.
again, these are just easy wins at the moment. It's kind of low in the Coliseum, so not really any challenge at uh, at the level yet. This is Kingdom 31? Yeah, 31. Speed ups. Troops. I believe I was working on. There we go. Before I do that, check cargo ship. Uh, not really any good trades. Go do that one. Go grab these. Sorry, I'm not talking much, I'm just focusing, uh, trying to get these d ults and stuff done as quickly as I can. Let's see, I believe this one was working on Death Archer, I think? No? Not Death Archer. Which one is this one I'm working on? I do not remember. Bob and Goblin. Price Age of Storms. No. Trickster up to rank 8. I think that's everything for that. Hit before the monster disappears. Go ahead and send excess resources there. 
send it to the bank. And we'll just let production right out. Alright, gonna switch real quick. Alright, let's do some Coliseum. I think one of the hardest things to explain in this game is Coliseum lineups. It is a very learned thing. <laughs> and it's so specific on what you have versus the opponent, the equipment that you've got, the rank, the grade. set up basically the same that I just beat <laughs> very popular setup on uh, Kingdom 1 at the moment very easy to counter <laughs> Should still win. Yep. Had the uh, grade advantage there, or not grade, the uh, rank advantage there. Uh, that's another easy win one. Uh, I bet the uh, gold rose tonight is what screwed me over there. Ah, reset. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's see. I believe that's it for this all. Let's kind of speed that up. Finish that infirmary. Got the resources. food a little bit. That's okay. Alright, let's find a level 3 monster. There we go. Hit that monster. Send the main account some resources. K1, yes, this is K1 that I am currently in. Uh, but I am managing accounts on K1, uh, Kingdom 1, Kingdom 11. Kingdom 31 as well. What kingdom are you from, uh, A04? I'm gonna hop accounts real quick. House cleaning on this one is 45 and a half million. Again, this one is not one of mine. This is a friend's who's currently sick and cannot get on, so I'm helping them out with this one. Oh, you're also K1? No, okay, gotcha. What guild are you in? Um, 
Maybe I know of you. Seen my seat? Not sure I get what you mean. What do you mean? What guild are you from, by the way? I don't know if I asked that. There you go, you can just plop that into a uh, translator, if you need. If anybody was curious about the music that's playing in the background, it's by uh, <coughs> No Copyright Sound. Uh, you can actually find a link uh, below my stream to their page. Uh, their YouTube, I believe, is what I have that linking to. Great guys. Okay. Don't think I'm familiar with that guild. Okay, One Piece, gotcha. I don't believe I've seen you guys around. Uh, are you guys new?
take that trade. I'll grab that too. Go ahead and push Rose Knight to rank 8. Oh, Queen B, so physical damage. Yeah, I notice you guys are pretty tight. Not, not that bad. You guys aren't too bad. One billion. Um, it's not terrible. For only uh, 77 members, it's not too bad. Got to start somewhere. I got to relocate on that one. That was a good hit. Finish that research. Search going. Start working on the next infirmary. I think that was about it. I think. Let's just clear some stages. Let's get Soul Forger up. boxes. Gonna send some resources to the bank. And we'll 
we'll just let production ride. Switch. Yeah, if you guys got any questions, just ask. Uh, I can answer pretty much whatever. See, probably do some Coliseum here in a minute. Gonna do Yeah, uh, I sure have. Uh, I've played it, God, ever since it released. Uh, I also played the Taiwan uh, server uh, when it first hit.
Yeah, no worries. Um... Yeah, Google Translate is not the best. <laughs> sometimes it gets it pretty pretty good, but sometimes not so much. Eleven twenty-four hours. Ah, uh, welcome back, Xander. I'm now on the main account, which is 203 million, so, uh, ask questions. <laughs> How did the uh, stages go, uh, Xander? Could do Terra Thorn. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, it's it's always tough. Um, Cause I can't remember what level it was that I did it. I know that it was around 56, 57. So it was probably 57, and they were prob I probably had all mine at uh, blue grade. Um, so, but at least now you know, so you know the setup and, uh, you should be able to handle it. It shouldn't take you too long. Just, uh, push your progress. I do not remember what my terror throw is. Uh, let's go with Demon Slay. Raven. Tracker. Incinerator and Black Crow. Yeah, no worries, uh, A0. We've, uh, we're both K1, and I know it's, uh, not a whole lot of live streamers for, uh, Lords Mobile. <laughs> There's a few, but not many.
Uh, believe it or not, uh, I have only streamed maybe four times, but I'm starting to get more into the habit of doing uh, Lord's Mobile streams. I mean, I've only streamed Lord's Mobile four times, uh, but uh, I just kind of stream whenever I feel like it. Um, but I'm probably going to start just streaming KVK. Uh, I probably probably won't be the one doing KVK. Um, another person does the battles and stuff because they have more fun with it than I do at this point. Um, so they'll be live streaming. Uh, Lily, uh, Lily will be live streaming, um, but she'll be using uh, this account. So, uh, but yeah, no, there's the coordinates a zero four. Um, that's where I'm at. Um, But you can always uh, ask questions. Uh, you can leave posts on my uh, Twitch live stream. Actually, um, I believe uh, I believe you can send me a private message, or you can uh, just send me a mail in game. Um, send the mails in game to Musashi K. It's my little alt that I use, um, just to kind of keep males separate. Uh, but yep, there's uh, the coordinates, uh, A04. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Got an 8 hour and a 3 hour, not too bad. Okay, save the other speed ups for healing during KVK. Death Archer. There we go. Yeah, thanks, Xander. Um, like I said, I'm uh, you know getting into the habit of doing Lord's mobile streams. Probably just during like KVK things like that. Maybe do just random days. <laughs> but it'll probably be. Um, Probably around this time of day, uh, noonish, uh, Eastern Standard. Um, I probably won't do any like late night ones because uh, usually it's uh, a little louder here where I'm at around that time. So. Yeah, if you've got any more questions, just shoot them my way, and I will answer. Go ahead and sweep for Metals and Black Crew. How long is it until KVK? Like 12 hours? 11 hours? Troops finish in 12... There, now they'll finish. 
finish just before it starts, and then I can throw some more on. Alright, let's do some uh, high tier uh, Coliseum, shall we? Let's see. For the Chinese people? No! I really don't, honestly, Xander. Um, I'm, at a, I'm at a primarily Chinese guild. Um, I really don't have any problems with Chinese people at all, or any people for that matter. If anything, it's more... Uh, on an individual basis, some people I have problems with, some I don't. All all different groups and creeds and whatnot. Like, you know. Oh, the setup. The reason I chose Black Crow, even though it wasn't gold, is because I wanted to counter their Demon Slayer. This first has the same setup, so I'll throw the same counter. So so easy when people use the same setups in the Coliseum to just counter them. I mean, both both of these people have the same setup. So. <laughs> How about just to, just to show you uh, why I chose the setup I did. Basically, okay, if you look at the setup here, right? So the difference between my setup and their setup is they have Demon Slayer and I have Black Crow. That's the two different uh, uh, heroes that, I, that we use. Theirs is all gold. Mine's all, all gold except for Black Crow's purple. Mine's all fully equipped. Theirs, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Um, and the reason I chose Black Crow is because when, you, and you'll see, um, you'll see that it'll jump to hit uh, Prima Donna, and Black Crow will focus on Demon Slayer. And there we go. Now they're all focused on Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer's gone, and the rest of their team just collapses. Done. They can get the heal off all they want. Isn't gonna save them.
sorry, it took me a second there. Um, I'm not Chinese, Xanders, but uh, A04, I believe, is. Um, so. But we're both from Kingdom 1. There we go. You're at rank 5 in the arena. Could tank take rank 1, but I don't need it. And I don't hit guildmates. Even though some of the guildmates NYH do, I do not. I really, really don't like it when they do, but it's, it's you know, it's a thing. It happens. Is what it is. But just to give you a uh, quick look at the turf. There's max treasure trove. All buildings are maxed. Uh, resource build up is pretty much just kind of an even spread really. Uh, more focused on stone and ore uh, as I'm more cavalry based for units. Um, then I have manors and uh, infirmaries kind of split with two barracks. Um, I don't have tier 4 traps because I just don't care about defense research that much. Uh, let's see, equipment that I've got is pretty much all that I really need. Um, don't really need much else. I've got stuff for all uses from gathering to combat to research, construction, um, monster hunt gear. I've got green at the moment. Actually, thinking about that, let's take a look at my jewels and see if there's anything I can bump up. Nope, don't have very many jewels that can be upgraded, unfortunately. Is that... Not gonna. That's gonna be a failed rally on that <laughs> dark nest. Don't think Dodo's on. Dodo, sorry. Terrible at pronunciation. Oh. Getting equipment easy and fast. Well, you can't get them easy and fast. You can get them easily, but kind of, not not fast, but slowly. Um, basically just, you know, focus on the monsters that drop, drop the, uh, the uh, ingredients for the gear that you need or want. Um, typically, you want to focus on uh, probably hitting level twos, um, as they're easier to kill and they drop, you know, green uh, ingredients. Um, then, um, for the more standard equipment that isn't uh, gained through monster hunt, uh, you basically just gather tiles. Um, you know, look at look for level four tiles, um, and just start gathering. Make sure that you're clearing the tiles, um, which, uh, if you don't know what that means, it basically means, um, for example, this tiles for a level four wood uh, woods is 1.26 million. Make sure that when you send a gather, that you send enough that it completely empties out that tile. And that gives, uh, not only does that make it so that another tile can spawn in that relative area, it also um, gives you a better chance of getting some ingredients. Uh, just to give you some proof of that, here you can see getting ingredients almost every time uh, from a tile 
because I clear the tiles. So, if you don't clear the tiles, you may or may not get an ingredient. It's it's kind of more likely no. <laughs> Much better chance when you clear. But uh, the fastest way is, well, obviously, uh, buying the equipment uh, with real money. Um, I don't really advise doing it that way. Uh, it's not really worth it. Um, the only equipment that I would say you would want to invest in is actually the Champion's Gear, which is $100 um, for a couple reasons. One, Champion's Gear is the best gear that you can get, really, for combat. Um, and you can usually get uh, one or two pieces to green on one box or on one purchase, but it also gives you 20 chests for terror uh, <clears throat> terror seeds, uh, the uh, the worms, the worm worms, um, the griffins, the snow beasts, and the frost fangs, which are all really good sets. Uh, yeah, the when you do monster hunt for ingredients, some monsters have a rare ingredient, um, which takes a lot of uh, kills before you can get one. They're very, very hard to get. It's very, very heavy uh, RNG. Yeah, like see, uh, with the $5 pack here, you get 40 chests of like gargantuan. Uh, you'll get enough for like one or two pieces of equipment, and that's about it. If that. <laughs> it's not really worth buying into, but you can. Oh my god, actually won. I'm surprised. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I don't stream too often. Uh, A zero four. Hopefully, my uh, translations aren't terrible. I know. Uh, I know a little Chinese, but not much. So I basically use Google Translate to kind of ease the suffering <laughs> of trying to remember. What, uh, what kingdom are you from, by the way, Xanders? I don't believe I asked you that before.
Oh, here, actually, we can watch a uh, battle report of us taking down a uh, level 5 Dark Nest. Let's just uh, go ahead and watch this little fight. So that's why so little troops actually won. It's because it was a uh, complete counter, 100% counter. Cav versus infantry, so that's why we won. Good, good. Ah, Kingdom 32, gotcha. Yep, got some alts in uh, Kingdom 31. So, allied with the uh, VIP in Kingdom 31. There's the uh, results there of that Dark Nest. Very, very good. That will fill up my transmutation lab. I gotcha. I know that translation's a little shoddy, but eh, whatever. Hopefully that makes sense. A04. Google Translate, am I right? Let's go ahead and do some gathers. Uh. Uh, somebody didn't finish their tile. Correct, A04.
more ore. Yeah, no, I mean, if it's, uh... Yeah, no problem, Xanders. Uh, probably will be a stream tonight, um, for KVK, uh, where I will be letting Lily, uh, stream on the big account, going around burning hives and such, so. And that'll be around, uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time. So, basically, 11 hours from now, roughly. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you know, much appreciated. Hopefully I answered all your questions. If you've got more, just let me know. Yeah, the, it's, it's not a bad thing easier for. Uh, just, you know, it's better to, you know, gather resource and earn points or do monster hunter or monster hunt and uh, get points rather than not really doing anything. Not only are the rewards really good, but it also helps your kingdom get uh, better placing. Yeah, if you guys have questions, just, uh, you know, throw them into the chat and I will definitely answer them. No question is, uh, too stupid. <laughs> I do not mind answering noob questions, if you will. Probably finish off a royal cab. Don't really want to speed it up though.
That looks like an uh, NA zone. For times two or two times hit. Ah, used all my energies yesterday, that's right. Yeah, I can help uh, with anything really. Uh, any questions that you have, no problem. Let's see. You were in guild K, so let's see if I can find your guild. Let's see if I can find where you guys are in K1. There's KOE. Guild might be. Let's see how long it takes me to find it.
KPK. There's not really a whole lot going on. <laughs> E-O-L DAC and G1K hives. The XGE hive. Oh, I found one of the K members. Howdy. 1999. Found one of your guildmates. A04. <laughs> so that's your guild. Which, uh, which accounts yours, A04? Tediousness. I was scrolling through trying to find hives.
Okay, gotcha. Sport back. Go ahead and clear all those messages out. Go ahead and pop those 24 hour boosts. <laughs> Shout out to A04. <laughs> Support back. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cole? Uh, what guild are you, uh, Cole? What kingdom?
Mmm, not really sure. Yeah, if you guys got questions, again, just let me know. I am paying attention to the chat, and I will be sitting here for at least a little bit longer. Uh, everything's level 25. Uh, it is all 25. Uh, just to show you, uh, treasure trove is maxed at 9, altars 25, prison and battle hole 25, marketplace 25, embassies 25, etc, etc. Resource building. Uh, I've only got one building left for 25. <laughs> Um, and then manors, infirmaries, barracks, all that good stuff. <laughs> Talent points? Sure. Uh, there's my current equipment setup for gathering <laughs> and one monster hound item. Uh, but currently, um, the talents that I'm currently using is for gathering and troop training, as well as construction and research. So, and there you go. That is the current talent uh, setup that I'm on right now. But once KVK comes rolling around, I will switch to a more offensive talent set that I have saved. I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean, just show it? <laughs> Talking about all the buildings, I'm guessing? Sorry, there's a bit of a delay between chat and what I see. <laughs> or what you see in the chat, sorry. Not much of a delay, but it's a little bit. Yeah, like I said, this one's at 23, it'll be 24 in about a day. Search Aquila Guild. Sure, why not? Aquila? Uh, I'm guessing this one? AQL?
Kingdom 87. So a new kingdom. That's good. So you're pretty new then. Yep, looks like a pretty new kingdom. 87 probably just opened, didn't it? You know what? I'll just say hi. Okay, I'll go to VIP chest. Hey zombie. Uh tips for growing might. Well there's a lot of different ways to grow might. Um it kind of depends on your playstyle. But um Honestly the best thing that I can tell you to do is get your buildings uh your building levels up. Um, don't feel like you have to rush your castle to level 25, okay? It's not necessary to rush to castle level 25. Getting to level, or, yeah, getting to level 17 is pretty good, because that's where you get, uh, tier 3 troops. And that's where a lot of your might's gonna start coming in from. Because you'll use tier 3 troops pretty much until you get tier 4 troops, which takes a long time, or a lot of money. So, basically, if anything, rush to, to Castle 17, get that done, get your research. Um, when it comes to research, get your economy up, okay? Get your economy up, get your military research up very very key okay you will need both economy and military maxed out completely all the way maxed out okay you'll need military all the way maxed out all the way down to the army defense offense and healths and then you'll need your economy all the way maxed out down to the weight training and resource harvesting before you can get tier 4 troops so you'll be using tier 3 troops for quite a while which is why I said, you know, you don't feel like you have to rush to see 20, or Castle 25. Uh, other than that, growing your might is pretty easy. Um, just, you know, train some troops. Make sure you've got infirmary space to cover what, what troops you do have. Um, get your hero stages done. Get your heroes uh, geared up, ranked up. Get their grade up. Uh, and what that means, basically, is see how... Uh, Gold, blue, purple, green. Oh, no problem, cool. That sounds like just a bit of lag. Uh, probably on your end. I'm not dropping any frames, so... Um... But basically, uh, zombie, the most important is... It, it's hard to say, because military is very, very important if you're somebody that's attacking or defending um, quite a bit. You'll want to have your military research up. Um, but monster hunt research is very key as well, because with really good monster hunt research, um, you can do, uh, you know, the level 4 monsters, level 5 monsters, which can give you some pretty good drops. Um, and having the right heroes do the monsters helps a ton, okay? And being able to, um, maximize the efficiency at which you do monster hunt. Uh, can bring in a lot of really good rewards. Like, uh, I don't have the examples anymore because I just cleared my reports, but <clears throat> basically, um, I just did a 
Um, I just did a monster hunt um, where I hit a level four um, Terrathorn right here. Okay, and I got some speed ups. I got an eight hour and a three hour uh, research speed up, which is really helpful. That's you know eleven hours for just hitting a monster. So monster hunt's really important. Um, but like I said, military is also really important, but it really just depends on what you're doing. Um, starting out, I would probably say get some of your, your military research up, um, but definitely make sure that you're focusing on that monster hunter research. Um, I mean, I'm at 203 million and I'm still doing monster hunter research because I didn't do it before. I'm almost done with monster hunter research, it's almost fully maxed. Uh, just as you can see right here, I mean, it's almost, I've almost got it all the way done. Um, I'm down right here, and I'm still working on it. It takes time. <laughs> I prior prioritized getting the best troops over being better at Monster Hunt. And honestly, if I had done Monster Hunt, I probably could have gotten the military and all that stuff a little bit faster, because I would have been able to get better drops from the monsters. Hope that answered that question. It was a bit of a long answer, but there's multiple ways to cover that. Yeah, and having uh, the one gold grade here is pretty good. Um, I'm going to take a guess and say that it's probably uh, the big guy. Would that be correct? Or did you go the route of getting uh, Trickster up to gold? Or is it just another random hero that you just kind of decided you liked it and wanted it gold or legendary? And Cole was saying that uh, there was some problems with hearing me on my microphone. Is that for everybody, or was that just him? Because it's on my end, it's coming in clear, but I want to make sure that the stream isn't derping out. Oh, Black Crow. Oh, Black Crow is a good one. Um, for heroes, uh, well, I mean, you have Black Crow, Prima Donna, Death Knight, Child of Light, um, Soul Forger is the dwarf guy. <laughs> uh, it's it's not a bad loadout. Um, it's not the best. You could have better, uh, honestly. Um, the uh, hero that I would recommend would be um, probably uh, get Rose Knight if you can. I don't know how new you are. You said that you were new, but I don't know how new. Um, But I would say get Rose Knight, which is free to play. It's just hard to get. It's a stage or chapter six um, elite. And then, uh, which you you'll need to be about level fifty-seven for. Um, and have uh, blue grade or rare grade heroes. Then the next one that I would recommend is get Trickster up. And get Scarlet Bolt up. And get uh, Sage of Storms up. See, I, I made the mistake um, of not getting Sage of Storms up myself. Um, 
and that could have saved a lot of time because of the construction buff, but now I don't need it because I'm all maxed out, so I haven't bothered to even do it now. Um, but it, it is a very solid suggestion. Uh, I would definitely uh, highly recommend getting Trickster Gold, highly recommend getting Scarlet Bolt Gold, both extremely helpful in um, Monster Hunter. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, gives you an energy boost, Scarlet Bolt does. Also gives you construction boost, which is helpful too. And then you have uh, Trickster, which gives you the research and energy re uh, regenerate uh, speed and an energy boost, which is very, very helpful for um, Monster Hunter. Also, um, in the arena, Trickster is really good. Or Colosseum, sorry. The uh, next heroes that I would recommend would be uh, that you don't have would probably be Incinerator. Incinerator is very key in uh, the Colosseum. And I think that just about covers most of the free-to-play ones that I can think of. Oh, Tracker. You want to get Tracker as well. And probably Demon Slayer for the Colosseum. Tracker's pretty key in the Colosseum. As is Demon Slayer. Hopefully that answered that question. Could go on and on about heroes, honestly. <laughs> There's so many different uh, different good ones that you can have and get, and it's it's hard to say which ones you should get first and which ones you should get last. There's just they all have their purpose. Yeah, no problem. If you got more questions, feel free to ask. free-to-play gear well all gear is technically free-to-play but I'm going to assume that when you say free-to-play you mean any gear that you don't need to um, get through uh, Monster Hunter does that sound fair or do you just want an overall gear recommendation
Okay, so basically with armor, okay, um, there's different sets that you want to use for different um, instances, okay? You'll want to have a piece of armor for research, a piece of armor for construction, a piece of armor for gathering, and a piece of armor for attack and defense or a fifth piece of armor separate for attack or defense, whichever one the other uh, doesn't help you with. Um, and then some people also have uh, specific sets for the troop type that they use. And that's usually because they don't have um, champion's gear, because champion's gear is really good for attack and defense, um, and it covers all troop types. So. Um, but basically, uh, you'll want to look for level 60 gear is the ones that you won't really be focusing on f for probably a little while. Um, you're probably still not at 60 would be my guess. Um, but most, most gear that you use won't be level 60 gear anyway. Um, like I said, uh, you want to look at different sets for different purposes. So basically, just to give you a, a quick, a quick uh, look at what I've got. So I have different sets of armor for different purposes, right? Actually, let's do this differently. So gathering, this is the set that I have. Okay. You have the uh, sacred broadsword is what I use because. You know, it, it, it's whatever. But now that Nosferas has came out, uh, I actually changed that. I forgot all about it. But I now use the uh, the Nosferas uh, sword, the um, electric lance, uh, because it has resource gathering speed. And uh, also increases army capacity and travel speed, which makes it so that your troops carry more um, from tiles or attacking or whatever. Um. <clears throat> and then for the helmet, I'm also using the Nosferus helmet, which is the Nosferus mask, because again, resource gathering speed and um, travel speed. Here you can see me actually using it right now, which this is my gather equipment. Okay, this is what I use when I'm gathering resources off tiles. Um, I have the Nosferus or the electric lance. I have the Nosferus mask, and I have um, the centaur saddle, which is for the army capacity. Then I have the uh, the nomad legs or nomad boots. Sorry, uh, for again. Army capacity. You'll see. You'll see that a lot. Army capacity because that increases uh, the amount that your troops carry. So that's really good for gathering. Um, Griffin's talons again. Army capacity. Um, and then for accessories, um, with accessories I didn't really bother too much because there's not really that many good ones for gathering. Um, so I use uh, hunting horn. Uh, because I do monster hunt, um, and then the other two are just the uh, the flutes um, for research boost. In case I forget to change my research gear, I at least get a little bit. Um, but we'll change my battle gear. Um, the last kingdom vs kingdom, I actually was able to get a new champion accessory uh, for free, which was nice. So I got a new piece of gear there um, but for fighting gear I use mainly champions gear which is really hard to get f uh, free um, the only way that you can get it for free is by doing really well in Kings kingdom versus kingdom uh, so the gear that I have is not gonna be that easy to get <laughs> but uh, 
the the next best thing would be um, looking for a main hand that has army health or army defense and use that or use the troop type that gives you uh, a troop boost of defense or uh, HP okay those would be the kind of gear that you want for attacking um, for all slots um, just give you an idea like this See? max HP army defense both really really good stats for combat and that's actually a pretty good piece of gear that you can get for free oh the uh, the winter mitts from the snow beasts trying to think um, the next free to play one that's gear uh, would be the lost islands relic which gives army max HP really good for free to play um, there's not a whole lot that can really contend with it there's the uh, terror vials which are better um, but they're a little harder to get uh, but they give defense um, it just kind of depends on what you're going for. But yeah, hopefully that that helps you out a little bit in understanding gear. Um, it's really broad, <laughs> I guess is the word for it. But basically, you want to look for the gear that that you can use. Um, oh yeah, I got you the winter boots. They're really good. Um, you know, like, like I said, they're really, really good. Uh, the, uh, like I use the, uh, I've got the winter boots as well, actually. Um, <clears throat> but I got them, and then Champion's Gear came out, so I got Champion's Gear, and Champion's Gear's better, but, so, it's whatever. So I didn't mean to keep that chain. Yeah, if you got any other questions that I can answer, please let me know. And if I didn't answer the last one specific enough, I can try and be a little bit more specific. It just might take me a while because there's uh, a lot of different gear to go over. <laughs> but you can easily search it. I mean, you just go into your workshop, go to all gear, go sort by usable level, check the filter, you know, construction speed. Bam. Best helmet for construction speed. <laughs> and then, you know, go to armor. You know, the best gear for, or the best armor piece for construction. Best boots, etc., etc. But that's basically what you gotta do. Um, you know, just look for the, the construction speed. For construction set, research set, the resource gathering, uh, or army capacity. And then you want to look for, uh, like I said, army max HP, then army, max, or army defense, then army attack, and then troop specific. Sorry if I sound kind of crappy right now, kind of sick, but, um, last question, what would you recommend spending gems on? Well, um, that depends. If you're free to play, save your gems, because, 
Um, this is going to be staggering if you don't know it already, but... Getting these four buildings right here, the prison, the battle hall, altar, and treasure trove, up to their max level, costs about 200,000 gems apiece. There is no other way. <laughs> That is the paywall that you will hit. Um, you will need to save your gems. Um, if I was to really recommend spending gems on anything, it would be on getting your treasure trove up to max as soon as possible. Um, because it will pay for itself, and it helps a lot. If you don't know what the treasure trove does, basically it gives you free gems every 7, 14, to 30 days. And... It helps a lot, as you can see. Uh, I put 22,000 or 22.7 thousand gems in. I get 46 and a half thousand back, so I get a little more than double every 30 days, and that's really really helpful. All right. Good night, A04. I mean, you know, it's, uh... Yeah, prison's really good. Um... You don't really need a prison maxed out that much until you really start going crazy with attacking. Personally, I prefer uh, getting the prison up to 17. Get your altar, then, um, then you'll get your battle hall mm, and you should already have your treasure trove maxed by the time you even get to that point um, in my in my opinion anyway um, but yeah you definitely want to save gems for those buildings um, because they cost a lot uh, and that's there's there's just no way around it it's it sucks but that just that is what it is um, but once you get those buildings done I mean it's such a nice load off like it's it feels so great to to get those ones done um, and then you can start using your gems for everything else basically research <laughs> um, you'll also want to spend some gems on like golden hammers so that you can get your buildings to 25 but those can just be bought as you need them which will be you know like every five days <laughs> roughly depending on what building you're you're pushing up to 25 um, but yeah that's what I would recommend spending your gems on um, not really anything else until you get those done honestly um, but once those are done I mean spend your gems how you want um, I would only recommend gymming um, research if there is a hell event that is research like this see and if it has the watcher as a reward that's when I would recommend doing uh, research and gymming it Uh, see, that's a tough question. It's a good question, but that's really tough. Um, would I recommend pushing to a higher uh, castle level in order to get the treasure trove to a higher level? Hmm, yes and no. And the reason why is because the hell events are specific to your castle level, okay? They become significantly harder that um, 
once you get to the, the, the max castle level, they, they become a little bit more difficult. Not too much, but it, it can be a lot if uh, you're not too far progressed. So, I would say get to castle, you know, 20... Uh, I can't remember what level it is off the top of my head. But, you know, sitting at, at treasure trove level 7 or 8 is perfectly fine. Um, so you can catch other buildings up. Um, make sure that you get every opportunity that you can to get the Watcher medals from the Hell Event that you can. Um, because it becomes, like I said, significantly harder once you get to Castle 25. But, on the other hand, getting Treasure Trove 9 is super helpful and it ends up paying for itself after a couple months. So, you know, it takes four or five months, pays for itself, done. <laughs> And yeah, the labyrinth, uh, labyrinth is not, not not worth uh, investing gems into. Um, I didn't do it on this account, but I did it on one of my alt accounts that I had a ton of gems saved up. I had about four hundred thousand gems. I spent half on the, the labyrinth just to, because I could. Um, and I mean, I got maybe half the gems back. If that, it's not all the not all the rewards are are worthless, but it I don't feel like it was worth the gems put into it. Um, I find using the one free daily uh, res or daily uh, hit more than enough. I mean, you know. It's an interesting thing to do. I mean, it's nice. It gives like a daily re login, another daily login reward, basically. Yeah, hopefully that answered that question. Uh, if you got more, let me know. I'm basically just kind of hanging out at the moment. Not really, uh, not really doing much. best reward that you got was a 60 mil you mean probably a 6 mil pack of food uh, that technically paid off the gems you spent on it barely <laughs> yeah uh, probably not worth it since it was food <laughs> food's not the best thing to get but you could use it to uh, trade with the cargo ship so yeah yeah no problem uh, thanks yeah much appreciated that you're uh, following man um, the next stream will probably be tonight during KVK probably around midnight Eastern uh, I probably won't be talking very much it'll mainly be uh, my, my friend Lily so my friend Lily will be running around on KVK uh, using this account to burn things so it was 60 mil was it like times 10 probably or was it 10 packs of 60 or 6 or something like that okay. All right, 
It was one pack of 60 mil? I didn't know there was 60 mil packs. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> Pardon the language, but that's just fucking crazy. It's madness. That's so much food. Like, do open in one go. I can't even think of a use for that. Like, at all. Can't think of anything that used 60 million food. I mean, hell, I'll just give you an idea. Here, here's my upkeep. <laughs> 60 million food wouldn't even last me 10 hours. Not that you need food for upkeep anyway, but... <laughs> wouldn't last me long. Anyway, I will be live streaming for probably another, oh, probably another five minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get some food, probably rest a little bit, because I'm still kind of sick. Um, and then Lily will be on tonight at midnight Eastern Standard Time to live stream KVK. So if you guys have any questions, um, just let me know now, and uh, I will get back to answering them uh, as best I can. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it out here, it's about 2pm, so I will be back, or rather I won't be, but Lily will be on, um, and she's just as knowledgeable as I am, I don't know if she'll talk at all, she usually doesn't, um, but she'll at least answer the questions in chat. Um, and she'll be uh, live streaming KBK, um, and you can watch uh, what a 200 million might account does during KVK. Um, and that'll be at, like I said, midnight, which is in basically 10 hours. So 
thanks for watching guys uh, it's been fun uh, answering questions uh, I had a lot of really good ones um, and hopefully I gave a lot of uh, really good information that'll help a lot of you guys out um, if you missed a question and an answer uh, the video or the stream is actually saved uh, here on Twitch and you can just check it out in my uh, in my channel and under the uh, videos tab uh, and you can watch it later so thanks for watching guys peace